Hello, this is Mike from Windows7Forums.com and Windows8Forums.com. I'm here to inform the public that Windows 8 has leaked to the internet in an early development build. That build is 7955.0.x86fra.fbl underscore srv underscore wacxml.110228-1930. And essentially this is build 1930 of the pre- uh, milestone uh, RTM build of Windows 8. Uh, this is Milestone 3. The name of the file that leaked over peer-to-peer -peer networking and the Pirate Bay is Windows 8 Milestone 3.iso. The file size is 2.47 gigabytes. In other words, that's 2,657,079,296 bytes. I can confirm that it is bootable in VMware Workstation. Uh, the MD5 checksum value for this file is 40861A02CB14B0D2D793091DB6CC6E4. Let's see what we can find out more in regards to Windows 8 and discuss a little bit more about the rampant uh, piracy and intellectual theft of software and pu its publication online. How does it an operating system which isn't even finished yet and is in early development stages even reach the internet uh, at this point in time. Booting this ISO file reveals some interesting information with the installer here. This is similar to booting up from a disk. We see Windows Server 2008 R2, x86 architecture, date modified, March 1st, 2011, and we get a description of the 1930 build. When we click on Next, uh, we see the standard Windows 7 installer and the fact that we'll be copying files. As you can see in the brief period of intermission, we were unable to get Windows to start. We're trying again. And this is from a leaked file which appeared online. And if you look closely, we're seeing an error over and over when we try to load up the operating system in a virtual machine. Uh, we're told that we can try to launch it in safe mode or start Windows normally. And this is typically the boot up screen that you would see uh, with any copy of Windows. So. The lesson here may be that software piracy is not a good idea. As you can see, using safe mode does not work. We can see some files that are loaded uh, in safe mode, but we're unable to make any determination about the possibility of loading this operating system since it cannot pass the basic uh, Windows operating system loading procedure. Uh, and This is after a install that you saw, which was expedited. Speaking of leaks and software piracy online, it is very important to note that the Windows 8 development is something that has not been made public by Microsoft yet. Nonetheless, videos such as these have leaked. They have been taken down off of YouTube with copyright claims from Microsoft. Not only that, but the operating system is in a state of development, uh, whereas it may not even work in virtual machines. So. Number one, we're unable to determine if this is a legitimate leak. And number two, even if it is, it may not even load on uh, a virtual machine type interface. Uh, and because of that, we're unable to uh, preview Windows 8 just yet. At least not with this file. This should serve as a warning for people not to use this file and uh, watch out for peer-to-peer -peer networking and do not pirate software if you can avoid it. Windows 7 works great right now.
it was quite frustrating trying to get this thing to uh, open up. So what I did was I extracted the ISO file within Windows 7. This wouldn't even work and there were corrupt files that uh, came out here. I looked here to see what was going on and I checked some of the file versions and they were uh, pretty much uh, close to uh, Windows Server 2008. As you can see this is an install document for Windows 7. Now that would be acceptable in development software but let's find out what happens when we go to the setup.exe within sources. As you see setup is copying, setup is starting and here's where we find out that this is completely fake. As you can see we have pre-release terms for Windows 8. This is done very cleverly. Let's go down a little bit and see what those terms are. Because this is time sensitive software, it's the, it stops running October 1st, 2010. And that's how we know it's fake. Uh, because that, that was the time bomb for Windows 7 uh, at, as development software. So we know that this is fake. Uh, Microsoft would never release license terms uh, that has a, a fake time bomb date on it uh, and with corrupt files. So this is not uh, Windows 8. Uh, it is not a pre-release item. Um, and there's, there is significant evidence that proves that these files have detailed versioning for build 7600.16385. Uh, all of them do. Uh, so again, another internet fake for you.